mercenary, hunter, assassin, stalker, hellion, royal, specter, mistwalker, tenacity, yeah. Hello you absolute legends and welcome to Letterheads. Ah la days, yeah. Now I will tell you exactly what I need to know about each one of them. Oh yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, the first one is the mercenary hood. Oh yeah, look at it. Look at that beauty. Only mercenaries use it. And it is amazing if you use it with longbow. Sorry, bow battle. I fucked that up. Because if you use ray of light and then pop the slow, what are you gonna do? Nothing. But it's not only used for kiting. It is actually really effective if you... Well, use it offensively, try to chase someone, because it will uh, slow them down. But also, it's gonna interrupt them. Watch. So not only will he do less damage than me, the mob, he will also get interrupted. See, 29. And now, uh, what's your damage now? 41. So for 41 to 29, that's a big damage decrease. And the thing lasts for 4 seconds, which means if you time it right, you can survive a really nasty combo. For example, a dagger pair. The E does a lot of damage, you press your D, or your helmet, and you won't die. Yeah. And if you hear clicks in the background, sorry, but my girlfriend is playing something. I should probably mute that bitch, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Now I have to tell you something important, when it comes to the, not damage dealt part, no, that's always the same, but the slow, uh, the slow is always 35%, but the duration of the slow, how many seconds it lasts, depends on your gear. If I take uh, Guardian Armor, for example, uh, uh, what? Oh, bro, no, why? Why? But, okay, if I take Guardian Armor, for example, the slow is going to take uh, you know last a lot longer but if i take something like cleric robe it will last very little now even if the enemy has cleric or uh, guardian armor the difference is very very little okay it makes uh, it uh, matters a lot more what you wear okay not what the enemy wears we tested it so watch uh, see <laughs> it didn't yeah, last yeah, at all oof, oof, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah wait yeah. Alright, and... Oh, oh last quite a bit, last oh. quite a bit, yeah. Uh, now we have Hunterhood. Oh, hell yeah. So Hunterhood, well, it is rather amazing because it allows us to <laughs> use this and make the enemy damage themselves. And we get less damage because of the defense. You see the damage resistances? Oh, yeah. Now, how disgusting is it, actually? Well, I took a few tests with my bro Andre, so... Yeah, let's take a look. But, but keep in mind, when you wear Hunterhood, you're automatically a piece of shit. You're a rat. Yeah, that's... It's just how it is. Look. Ugh. Ugh. Actually, I like the old blue shields better, just saying. Uh. Yeah. So, as you can see, I did not use Hunterhood, and his E dealt 317 damage, while the Bleeding dealt 45 damage. And now let's see with, oh yeah, with the Hunterhood. And 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so, take a look. Uh, the hunter hood made me the made me get a lot of less damage. I actually got 275 damage, yeah, and uh, Andre got 354 damage, yeah. And the bleed, he did more damage to himself than he did to me, which is rather disgusting, and that very to be exact, yeah. But remember this number, okay? I have plate armor and he uh, he got 354 damage. Now let's actually check what happens if I have cleric robe and let's see if I will do more damage to him with his attack to me. Damn. 3, 2, 1, go. Jesus. It works. <laughs> so as you can see here, uh, I did not a lot, but I definitely did a bit more damage to him. But, because I had Cleric Robe this time, he did, 
Servier gave my dog. He did a lot more damage than me, even though I had defenses, right? So yes, you will do more damage with your Reflect if you have a Robe Armor, like Robe Armor Hunter Hood, instead of, I don't know, Assassin Jacket Hunter Hood. But what happens is, and this is the fucked up part, you will uh, receive a lot more damage. So just just go middle ground, go letter. <laughs> yeah. Depends on your build though. Anyways, yeah. Okay, my favorite fucking helmet in the whole game. Assassin Hood. You know why? Because I'm an assassin. Yeah. You see, this little thing, the, the meditation, yeah, is busted. And you know why? Well, take a look. If I do this, and let's say it goes to a cooldown of 15 seconds, right? And then I press it. Exactly. It removes 14 seconds of your cooldown. Just... 14 seconds in three seconds that's a lot so what can we do with it <laughs> well uh let me tell you a fun fact it is actually the highest dps helmet in the whole game the reason being is well let me demonstrate with uh, dead givers so the reason it is the highest dps uh, helmet in the whole game is because you can do this right and if you have hunter hood oh yeah and uh yeah and then you go again. And he's dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you can do four E's in a very short amount of time. You don't need to wait 20 seconds. You don't need to do one E stack, one E. No, no. You can do E, E, D, E, E, that. Yeah, also another thing. Another thing. When it comes to mobility, and if you have these passives, uh huh. And then if you eat an omelette, Oh yeah, oh. <laughs> watch this, you see, I'm just chill, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just running, yeah, and, and watch what will happen when I use my D, I'll have everything back almost, see I can do my dashes, then I'm gonna do my boots, and I have boots, in a couple seconds. Then I have Invis, then I have Assassin Hood. It's, it's disgusting. But you do kind of need a Limer Escape for this playstyle. Because you just... Yeah. Yeah. But let me show you what you can do with uh, any Quarter Staff. Any Quarter Staff. And an Assassin Hood. It's, uh, it's sad. It's sad that it's doable. <laughs> Watch. What are you gonna do, bro? What are you gonna do? Fucking, fucking out attack the shit out of you now. Uh -huh. Oh no! Are you gonna do what? Huh? You gonna do what? Uh -huh. Listen, I'm pressing fucking. <laughs> You're not pressing shit. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Hey, yo. Uh, no, you just cannot order it. It's just, it's just a fact. Damn. Yo. And then when you're back, I can just do that. <laughs> this is busted, man. It's, it's, it's disgusting. Did I just block your E? Ah, uh, the one and only Stoggerhood. Oh yeah, a disgusting weapon. Now why? Because the damage resistance is shredding. Yeah. Yeah. Now the thing is, yes, it will increase your damage if you just... Yeah. Let us check how much exactly, okay? Let us check a difference with... Uh, you know what? Roll the tape. Roll the tape. Yeah. Let's see, damage without anything. 724, that's a lot. 724. Okay, 724. Not bad, but you know, sometimes if you're gonna do a big combo, because the thing lasts for how many seconds? Let me just check. I think it's four. Yes. So for four seconds, you have the 15% buff. And because the cooldown of the thing is like only 15 seconds, I have passives. Uh, don't worry about us. Like, it's 15 seconds, not 12.2. Uh, you can be like, boof, then uh, damage, right? 
And then after 10 seconds, like you chill, you can go again. Okay, so usually depending on the fight, you might want to do uh, use uh, Stalker Hood uh, immediately, damage, right? And uh, then after uh, you do your damage, you're gonna do another combo after they're under 50% HP. Ellie. Now this is with. No. Okay. Nope. 793. So we went from 724 to 793. You know, if, if, if I did a full combo, it those 15% would matter. Because I can do it again later. 15 plus 15, hey. And the second one's gonna usually be under 15%, under 50% HP. And that one hurts. Yep. So we went from 800. No, we went from 720 to 1. Point, you know, 1230. Yeah. With pen. But without, without pen, just a bonus is... Yeah. A big difference. That's a huge... It's literally... Well, plus 50% damage. <laughs> Thank you. Damn. Imagine you did a full combo. <laughs> uh, the good old Hellion Hood. Because, yeah. Yeah, that's why. Uh -huh. What are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? Victory, bitch. Oh, that's what you're gonna do. But thing is, the Hellion Hood is quite amazing. Because for 5 seconds, you're invisible. Now, people can still attack you. You can get attacked by untargeted abilities. For example... If I had a crossbow with these abilities, I could not attack anyone in uh, the smoke bomb from Hellion Hood. But if I had this Q, easy, no problem at all. Because I would just throw the Q and if I hit someone, I hit someone, okay? Now let me tell you two things you should know when it comes to uh, using uh, the Hellion Hood, okay? Number one, you can use it offensively because when it silences someone, for example... If I'm trying to snipe this, or I'm trying to snipe you, and you use your Hellion Hood while I'm doing it on me, it's gonna silence me and fuck up my channel. Yeah, keep that in mind. Another thing, uh, you can use consumables, okay? If you didn't know that, that already, watch. I can use Endless Potion, I don't have with me, but look, I use Gigapod while silenced. Pretty amazing. So, if you ever want to get out of a tight spot, you use a uh, Hellion Hood, into endless potion and you just walk away they will not know which direction you went but a good thing to do is for example if you have um uh, how's it called uh, soldier boots or something like that and you pop your soldier boots right yeah then pop the hunter hood and immediately in this uh, endless potion and go in a random direction and you're out the reason it works best with soldier boots is because well it's very hard to uh, know immediately when you use it because they don't see the difference they gotta look at the particles so you won't get purged and then uh it's gonna last a lot it's gonna last for the whole duration of inner spot so yeah hellion head inner spot and soldier boots a fucked up combo uh combo combo oh yeah oh yeah and another thing another thing when you're using it doesn't matter if it's ambush like assassin jacket or hellion head uh, depending on where the enemy is, for example, if the enemy is right there, right here, you want to go towards him to the side a bit, right? So not away from him, okay, not to the side, no, towards the enemy and then to the side a bit. Even when you go in this, for example, someone is chasing me there, right? I go in this, I'll go either here, here or here. I definitely won't go there unless there is something specific there that I want to go to. Okay? Yeah. Also, don't just stand still. Move around. Okay? Yeah. That's basically it with the Hellion Hood. It's pretty decent, but... Uh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> it's just decent. Uh, the good old Royal Hood. Completely useless... Unless, unless you're doing a faction warfare or you are going into ZVZs, okay? Because some builds uh, for big ZVZ fights are gonna need uh, the Royal Hood. For example, the one-shot build, I mean, it, it, let's just say it's this one, okay? Not, not really, but yes. Uh, let's just say you're going uh, Royal Hood into one-shot crossbow, right? What you would do is uh, Beef Sue, of course, right? And uh, you will start stacking. And then you have to time your attack. 
For example, here. But this, this, and dead, right? Yeah. So you can watch that someone in the ZVZ with that. Well, if they're 50% HP, you can't just 100 to 0 them unless you're, well, a lot higher IP than them. But uh, it is very, very disgusting. Okay, now you can watch that someone maybe, you know, I won't tell you how. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that a secret, but uh, uh, yeah. If you're gonna go solo, do a trio, do not use uh, Royal Hood. It's literally useless. It's only good for ZVZs and Faction Warfare. Okay? Up. Also, the way you start, like the moment you deal damage, is gonna stop the stacking. Okay? Keep that in mind. So if you want to have, you should uh, focus on having 5 to 6 stacks, because if it ends, you don't get anything. And if it, uh, how's it called? Uh, if you do it early, if you attack, well it's just gonna be 1 to 2 stacks, that's no damage bonus. But please, even if you go one shot crossbow in your solo duo, there's a lot better of an option than a royal hood, okay? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So dudes, if y'all go ZVZ or faction, Ask your people which builds can use Royal Hood. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be the one shot ones. Like, uh. What's his name? Just a second. Uh, Galantine pair, right? Like Galantines. These ones. They're gonna use Royal Hood. Well, a lot of times they do. Uh, you have the crossbow that I just showed you. This one. Sniper crossbow. And, uh. Wait. Sometimes you might even see people with lo a wailing bow use it, right? And another one. Wait, fuck, I forget. Shit. Ah, yeah. This is my favorite. Spiked gauntlets because of the E. Oof, 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 oof. Oof. Those people don't go uh, of solar robe, they go cleric, of course. Like that. But literally this build, yeah. But that's all you have to know. Now, let's watch. Let's watch me kill a frog. Hey, hey, Timmy, how you doing? Bob. Yeah. Oh, look at how cute he is. He's dead. Oh, yo, 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 oh, yo. <laughs> that is fucked up. <laughs> oh, no. That's a fuck. What, what build is that, bro? Uh -huh. Ah, the good old Spectrehood. Amazing for both PvE and PvP. Now, the thing Spectrehood works the best with is Mercenary Jacket, Assassin Hood, and Alien Jacket. Those three are really busted when it comes to Stalker Jacket. You, you can just reset the whole cooldown, right? For example, if I'm low, I'm doing PvE, I'm doing solo statics or solo group dungeons. It doesn't really matter, right? I can just do that, right? And I'm getting a lot of HP. And then... I didn't die. And then enemies come and then I just, just do that. And again. It's rather disgusting. Rather disgusting. Up. Oh. Yeah. Now when it comes to Spectre Shot, okay. You, I think you have to know. Even if you get interrupted. The cooldown is halved. Let me try to replicate it uh, with a mob. It's going to be hard to time, but we'll try. We'll try. Okay, let's try. So. The cooldown on our uh, assassin jacket is quite high. Mm, that was a bit too early. Let's try again. Fuck, I'll have to wait so long. You know what? It's fine. It's it's for the video. Fuck. Also, my skin looks so... Die you. Die you. Okay, we're gonna try again in a couple seconds, but... Uh, let me ask you something. Uh, the cooldown's gonna be halved, right? But will it be on the R? Or in the jacket? Or on the helmet? Oh, let's find out. Pop. What's up, huh? The fuck did just happen? <laughs> Wait, what? Alright, nah, do it again. Come on, do it again. You fucked up. There we go. The cooldown was actually halved on the hood. Yeah, instead of the jacket. Yep. A good thing to know, okay, so <laughs> maybe some of you thought, oh, it says the cooldown's gonna be halved. Uh, yeah, it's not for the jacket, like for your armor piece, it's for the thing. 
the flash of insight. Ooh, flash. Flashlight. I need to get myself a flashlight. Yeah. Maybe I can make someone buy it to me for my birthday. <laughs> uh, the, nah, nah, fuck that. Ah, this abomination of a hood. The Mistwalker hood. You literally are... You know, if you play League of Legends, you know the Trindomir ult? You're basically Trindomir for 6 seconds. Yeah, literally. Literally. So you pop R right before you're gonna die under tower when you're diving. And then you just kill everyone and then just run away and then heal. Yeah. It's, it's, it's disgusting. The thing is, there are a lot of better options to, uh, to choose. It's just, in some niche uh, scenarios, this one is by far the best. Some builds that uh, can uh, capitalize by brawling a lot. For example, if you have uh, this, right? Dead Givers, and you're going brawler Dead Givers, like melee. Uh, using Mistwalker Hood can actually be good. Although, Assassin is gonna be far superior. Yeah. But sometimes, depends, this thing can save your life and kill the enemy. But if a mob hits you, <laughs> yeah, afterwards, yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, let me show you in action how disgusting it is. Editor J, roll the clip. Roll the, wait just a second. The clip, yeah. Did nice. you just miss E? No, no. <laughs> what the fuck was that? No, 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 no. <laughs> Look at my damage, though. All right, tell me when you're gonna eat. I, uh, I will not. I will queue. Okay. I mean. I mean, yeah. In one we once, yeah, man, yeah. Uh, in one we yeah, once yeah, with yeah, that yeah. game with something that it's stuck. Like, like that like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. With a curse, maybe. Oh yeah, that could work. Ah, uh, last but not least, the hood of tenacity. Oh yeah, what does it do? Well, if you enter this, you have your healing uh, cast and healing received halved by fifty fucking percent for four seconds. Yeah. Now, if you go out of the ring and go in again, no. Uh, only the moment you enter the ring, if you touch it, or if it spawns on top of you, right? Uh, your healing is going to be reduced by 50%. Okay, you can see it here. Right? By 4 seconds. But 4, 4 seconds, sorry. But if you go out or go again in or stay in, it doesn't get reapplied, which is quite nice, because if it would get reapplied, it would... It would be fucking busted. Yeah. Instead of uh, having it for 4 seconds, you will have it for... What, 7.5? Yeah. That's... No, sorry, not 7.5. 6.5 is... Exactly. Sorry, bad math. Just a second. I had to do it. I had uh, I had to do it. Wait, uh, I just had to <laughs> I like that givers. Anyways, uh, where would you use sort of tenacity? Well, thing is, in a group instance content. Instance content meaning uh, Hellgates, uh, arenas, and uh, Hellgates and arenas, literally. You won't see it open world because there's better options, okay? And in instance combat, instance, uh, yeah, instance combat, you always have a really strong healing, and the goal is to kill the healer first. Now this thing is not only gonna fuck up the healer, but everyone is gonna get their healing received reduced by fifty percent for four seconds, which is disgusting. And then you can just kill the low dude or kill the healer. Depends. Whoever is the lowest, they, they won't get healed. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Best thing is if you uh, hit. Uh, your uh, nasty wounds, like your helmet, both on the low person and on the healer. Because if you fuck up the healer's healing cast, and you fuck up the person that's low, low HP, uh, healing received uh, powers, that dude will die 100%. Okay? That's a good thing to know. Try to get them both together. Okay? Don't just get the healer or just the low dude. It won't work. Well, it will, but not as good as it could. Anyways... Use this in Arena, and I don't really have clips from Arena. Uh, actually, you know, I'm lying, I do. I I'll show you some, right? They're shit, but still. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna fucking kill him, this motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> you little bitch. What's up? 
How is your shape shifting thing? It doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work, doesn't it? <laughs> Where do you go? We're losing so hard. Oh my god. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> Piece of shit. I, you yeah, know what? The <coughs> <thing bear>, like. <coughs> <coughs> but yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is basically the video. I just wanted you to know what each uh, one of the hits does, can do, and yeah, how you can use it. Now, I didn't give you builds because, you know, you can do it on your own. I think I'm not the best person for that, actually, so I'm gonna let ours do it. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, fuck you, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget, drink a lot of water. Or yogurt. I just drank one liter of yogurt. You know what? Fuck you. And have a nice day. Don't forget it.